In this video, we'll show you how to use Logzine Livetail. Livetail, which you activate by clicking on this little play icon, shows logs in real time as they arrive into your Logzine app. We could just start it now by clicking on the play icon, but because we have a high volume of incoming logs here, that wouldn't really be useful. It would be like running tail F on a log file to which we're writing many logs per second. We couldn't really see anything, the logs would just scroll off the screen immediately. So instead of tailing all the logs, let's just run a query that acts as a filter so we can see only those logs that we're really interested in. And let's keep it simple and exclude all info level logs. The idea is that we don't care for info logs, which are typically high volume, noisy, and don't contain critical information that we want to see, like error and warning logs. And you can see there are a lot fewer non-info level error logs. Now let's start Livetail and see logs as they trickle in. As you can see now, this gives us logs that we really care to see. Various errors and warnings that we might want to fix or report. They're all arriving in real time without all the other log noise. So when might you want to use Logzine Livetail? I find it useful when we are deploying new versions of our software. I pull up one of my saved queries, like this one, and use it for Livetail. This way we see new errors right away and can quickly go in and fix them. If you have multiple log files that you want to tail like this, you have two options. One, ship all logs to the same Logzine app so you can have one place to tail them all together. Or two, ship them to separate Logzine apps and then just load different Logzine apps into different browser tabs and have Livetail running for each one of them. So there you have it. That's Logzine Livetail. Uh, we hope you like it and we hope you find it useful.